hi everyone it's julia welcome back to my channel if you guys are always here or welcome if you're new today is friday and it is 504 i got off work a little bit early because we were done with all of our patients by 4 30 it's kind of nice to get off early if you all are new here i recently just got a new job i'm an x-ray tech but i am training into ct and mri so right now i'm focusing more so on ct and this was my first almost full week of work i had 32 hours this week usually i will have 40 hour weeks but this monday i had a prior obligation so my start date was tuesday <laughs> anyway i have been learning ct a little bit this week and then today we were pretty slow with ct so i hopped over to mri and i sat with the tech and i watched half of an mri second patient um, i watched her fully do the whole scan and then the third patient I ran the scan myself so it was fun to run the scanner and set up the sequences and stuff of course with her watching and helping me through the, throughout the whole process but i am so beyond happy in this new job i don't feel fatigued i don't feel stressed out i don't feel unhappy like i used to i would come home and cry with my old job and that's just not something that i was okay with anymore so do what makes you happy in life because your life is truly so short and life's too short to spend time doing something that makes you so unhappy. So if you have the opportunity to switch positions, switch jobs, get a new position, get a new job, I say weigh the pros and cons and do what makes you the happiest because at the end of the day, you are the most important person. You need to care for yourself. So anyway, I'm home. I changed into some leggings and a sweatshirt and I have my hair up in this little clip. So my hair is a mess today. During lunch, I went over to a little plant nursery and I bought a new plant because we all know I have a plant buying problem. I mean, it's not a bad problem, but I just have a lot of plants in my house. So anyway, I have the house to myself for the weekend and then the start of next week. So I'm so excited because Cole is gone on like a little bachelor trip for one of his friends that's getting married in September. So later this evening, I'm recording a podcast episode with my really good friend, Lucy. If you guys haven't checked out our channel, I'll link her in the description box. She is the sweetest soul ever. Her content is incredible. Her Instagram is so pleasing to the eye. She is just amazing. So I'm recording with her later tonight around 6.30. I'm probably gonna eat dinner here in a little bit. And then I'm gonna clean because I need to vacuum. I need to do my sheets. I need to probably dust, just do some cleaning up around the house. And then or it's an apartment, you guys know what I mean. And then later I need to run to Target to grab a couple things, which I just need a few items. Also, last week i ran to target and i think i was vlogging that night and something ran out in front of me and cole thought it was just a box but i went back the next day and i think it was some type of little rodent and i ran it over and i killed it so i was super super sad and i felt awful so poor little guy rest in peace you guys know how much i love my animals so I felt really 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 bad i tried to avoid it but of course you can't like swerve and hit cars next to you so okay i'm gonna quit procrastinating cleaning and start doing that and then figure out what to eat for dinner I get a lot of comments asking me if I could do like a what I ate in a day. And honestly, this is the kind of stuff I eat, like the most random meals ever. I think these are from Costco. They're just beans, cheese, and rice burritos. So I'm gonna eat that quick so I can get this podcast started. Lucy's coming out around 6.30, so I wanna get like an intro recorded prior to recording with her. So I'm gonna eat this, record, talk to Lucy, and then go to Target. I 
I look like a mess. I went through all of their new clothes and picked out quite a few new pieces. So I'm gonna try those on. Not fully sure if they're gonna look cute on because some of them are like pretty funky pants that I'm not fully 100% comfortable with, but I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone just a smidge. So I'm gonna try those on and then I need to start editing this podcast. We recorded for about 55 minutes. It was so fun talking to her. She is so insightful and helpful and just incredible in general. I highly suggest you guys to go listen to that podcast episode. Good morning, guys. It is 10.55. I woke up at 10.30 by accident. I never sleep in that late. Usually I wake up around like 7.30 to 8, like any day of the week. So I don't know why I slept in so much, but whatever. Last night I stayed up pretty late to finish editing the podcast with Lucy. So I think I was probably just tired, but Anyway, I have some laundry in right now. I need to make some coffee because I'm out. Just gonna get anything done. I need to make the bed. And then I need to shower and get ready. I'm meeting up with my friend Danielle today and I'm so excited. I literally haven't seen her in probably three years. So, so excited to catch up with her. She is such a good person. So, I'm really excited. I'll quit talking and just show you guys what I'm doing. I don't know why I do this with my hand. <laughs> I had left usually I put like a full pot that I make I put them into mason jars and then I just keep them in my fridge for the week and I can make about four and a half mason jars full of coffee which one mason jar fits perfectly into my little coffee tumbler which this is from mr. coffee it comes with my iced coffee maker that I have but this one is solid ice because it was in the way back of the fridge so it's basically like a giant coffee ice cube so I'm just gonna put my coffee in there and slowly drink it and then I think I'm gonna go hop in the shower but it's almost what time is it i think it's 135 right now but i'm just wearing this sweater from target i actually got it for like ten dollars kind of back in january i think i think it was right before new year's so i doubt that they still have it but i'll link something similar i just kind of like tucked it i don't really like the look of like these baggier jeans with a baggy sweater and then i'm just wearing my typical mom jeans from zara have them cuffed on the bottom and then I'm just gonna wear some sandals and I just have my black little purse on from Princess Polly. So I'll link this all down below. As for jewelry, I'm just wearing my little Ana Luisa hoops, Ana Luisa ring that I wear every day. Here's the other ear and then I have a ring on from Orate. So I'm gonna stop over by my parents quickly so I can grab a vase for my tulips that I bought last night. They were pretty sad this morning. I think it's because I didn't snip my stems so I text my friend and asked her how to take care of flowers because I'm more of a plant gal, not a cut flower gal, so yes. Okay, anyway, enough talking. Let's If 
guys are interested on what I got from TJ Maxx and Marshall slash home goods, I got a new satin pillowcase because the one that I got for Christmas two years ago started to break. Unfortunately, it was ripping on the edges. I also got one of these little shampoo brushes. I've heard really good things about these for the benefits of your scalp. So I'm really excited to try this out. It's very interesting. It looks terrifying, but I'm excited to try that. I also got this pair of shorts from DKNY and they're just like a little bit of a yellow tie-dye. Nice for like lounging around and then sleeping. That's all in here. That's my bag I keep in my car. Oh, of course, you guys know how obsessed I am with Copper Moon coffee. They're my favorite, so I got two of those because I like to hoard them in my pantry. I also got a replacement of this. I actually have owned one of these before, but I broke it. So this is a little blemish extracting tool. And then I got these shorts as well, comfy shorts that I can lounge around in. They're from Calvin Klein. And then this was a two piece set. Of course, the green that everyone was obsessed with. This is by far one of my favorite colors right now. It comes with this cute little cami and then a little cardigan type of top. So love that. And then I also got this Copper Tone Glow. It's like a sunscreen gel. So this is SPF 30. They also had a 50. I have used the shimmering spray of this and I really like it. So I got the spray at Target. I did not see this stuff at Target though. So I wanted to give it a try. It'll be nice for the lake. And then I also got this little basket for some of Cole's gaming stuff because it's just like sitting on the floor in there and I hate it. And then I also got this little basket at Home Goods to put our shoes in. We just have our Birkenstocks in there because we wear them out on the balcony out here. So it's just nice to have them at easy access, easy reach. And then I just have my sunglasses on the side there because I wear those out there frequently. And then that's my dedicated outdoor blanket. It's from Target. afternoon it's 12 24 and i'm just about to place an order for starbucks i'm gonna get some drinks for my family and bring the drinks to them and i don't remember i'm gonna have to call my mom quick oh. sorry did you say two pink drinks no just one okay dad wants one okay and then i just want to yep yeah okay bye all right thanks thanks yep, bye. bye yesterday i really didn't vlog much i woke up with the intent to vlog but after i grabbed lunch with danielle i really just didn't do a ton mom and i went to like home goods i did vlog what i got from home goods i just got some like random little beauty items and there's this vase there that i have been thinking about all morning that i wish i would have bought whenever i find like flower not flower vases, but like a potter. It was like a plant potter. Whenever I find those, I always try to buy them because we all know I'm addicted to plants and typically in like the winter months and stuff, you can't find vases. I keep saying vases. You can't find plant potters really anywhere except for like the more expensive nurseries and stuff. So whenever I find one, I usually buy it and I can always use it for like decor or something. But I saw one there yesterday and I wish I would have grabbed it. I don't know for sure if they'll still have it, but... You never know. Also, I want, I've been wanting to try matcha. I've tried matcha way, way, way a long time ago, but I haven't tried it in a while. So I think I might get one today. I'm just gonna do an online order for um, Starbucks and then I'm gonna go pick it up. Matcha green tea latte, iced pineapple, matcha lemonade. Maybe I'll try a matcha lemonade. Meh. 
Yesterday I didn't do much. I just caught up with Danielle and it was so nice to see her. I haven't seen her I think in three to four years. So it's been a really long time. It was so nice to catch up with her. I know sometimes she watches my content. So hello Danielle if you're watching. But anyway, I'm gonna go over to my parents. I just need to take a picture today and that's about it. I'll take you along with me, show you some of my day. Who knows what I'm gonna do, but I have work tomorrow. So probably not gonna do anything too crazy. So let's go. back at home goods which i was literally just there yesterday i actually bought this shirt there yesterday it came with like a little cami and it's supposed to be a cardigan but i think it looks cute as a shirt so anyway i bought this yesterday and the girl <laughs> the girl that was handing out masks and stuff at the front desk she was like or at the front counter thing she was like oh i love your shirt i'm like oh my god she's probably the one that rang me up last night and literally recognizes me anyway um, this is the vase that I got. I think it's super cute. They had one that's a little bit bigger of a size and then a smaller of a size So I opted for the medium one. I don't know what plant I'm gonna put in it. So TBD What else I went to my parents house and got some paper towels and Also got a vase for my tulips because I don't own a vase. So here we are I'm about to freaking break this thing. I have a bunch of dishes to do tonight and I have to unload the dishwasher. I think this is actually like an alcohol container. It has like one of those wooden balls that goes on the top of it. I got it at Target like two years ago when I ended up getting some flowers for like Valentine's Day or something and I didn't have a vase and they didn't sell them. So. isn't quite the right vase for it but oh well better than a mason jar anyway <laughs> really funny story if you guys are squeamish when it comes to blood or needles skip to this time here I'm giving you a warning I'll literally leave this time on the screen for you to skip forward to because I'm gonna talk about blood and needles so skip to this time I'm giving you a trigger warning okay so are you guys gone if you don't want to hear about it so we all know I'm going into CT and MRI and when it comes to CT and MRI, we have to start IVs <sighs> and a lot of you guys may know, may, maybe you don't know, I don't know. My dad is an MRI tech and my mom was an, was an x-ray tech. I guess I just found out tonight that she trained into MRI for six months before she went into ultrasound. So they both have experience with starting IVs. My aunt was also an MRI tech, so she has experience starting IVs. So, basically, my dad has access to Andrew Kath's and all of the proper supplies, and he offered to be my guinea pig to start IVs on. So, I wanted some practice, so I got all of the supplies. The tourniquet, the Andrew Kath, the saline flush, the um, adapter piece, the gloves, the alcohol prep pad, gauze, coban, all of that jazz. 
I was able to get all of these supplies and I was able to practice on him. So I've never started an IV, but at my old job, I used to draw blood. So I'm used to poking people with needles. However, I'm not used to advancing a catheter into a vein. I watched the MRI techs and the CT techs all last week start IVs and it seemed pretty straightforward and like I wouldn't need a ton of guidance, I guess. So my dad and I were practicing tonight and I advanced the catheter, no big deal. And my dad was sitting upright. We had the tourniquet on his arm for a little bit longer than typical because he was showing me like different areas um, that they typically were to either draw blood or start an IV on because he's had a lot of various surgeries and stuff. And then my dad has also torn both of his biceps tendons and both arms. He has a ton of scar tissue in his antecubital fossa. So it's a little bit harder to palpate on him. So we had the tourniquet on for a little bit longer than like average because he was showing me his veins. So <laughs> I advanced the catheter, got it in, and then I retracted the needle. We have the, um, I can't remember off the top of my head what kind of needles we have, but they're 20 gauge um needles that retract back so it's like a safety lock so i retracted the needle and took the tourniquet off and then that's where shit hit the fan i don't know if it's because we had the tourniquet on too long or what it was but basically blood came gushing out of the iv catheter and we had blood all over his antecubital fossa and of course my mom wasn't in earshot because she was in the other room so i'm like screaming for my mom to come get me more gauze because of course i only had a small bit of gauze next to me so once i got the catheter out it was like i didn't even touch him with a needle like he wasn't even bleeding hardly at all so all of the blood was obviously retrograding out of the catheter because it was in his vein so that was my first ev experience it was not great at all so i've been asking a lot of you guys for some tips and tricks or like accounts that are helpful for you guys if you have IV experience. So I'm a little traumatized, but I will still persist and attempt again, but yeah, I'm a little nervous for my next one. So I'm just glad it was on my dad and not a real patient. I mean, my dad, obviously he matters a lot, but he's in the medical field and he understands and he was willing. So I'm just, I was getting like, I had such an adrenaline rush and then I was getting really hot and I felt like nauseous because I felt like I was hurting him, you know? So it's not because I saw blood or anything. I'm not afraid of needles, but anyway, that was my story of the day. So, so much fun. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna relax for the rest of the evening because that was a riveting Sunday experience, but I'm probably going to edit this video so I can get it up tomorrow for you guys. I have been kind of, <laughs> I've been kind of playing around with my uploading schedule for YouTube just for the fact that I did start my new job and I also have two brand videos that I need to work on so I'm just kind of brainstorming with how my routine is going to work between full-time work and YouTube so thank you for bearing with me but anyway I'm gonna go relax now as much as I love where I live it's a beautiful place I'm very thankful to be on the top floor, to not have a lot of distractions. And there was a saga when I moved in here, but that has been since resolved. However, there is a new group of young men moving in across the hall from us. And they have repeatedly kept slamming the door. And the people have a puppy, which I feel horrible for the puppy. Like it's not the dog's fault, it's separation anxiety. And the fact that it has kind of rather neglectful owners. They have slammed the door easily 90 times within the last hour because they're moving in. And I understand like you have to move in at some point, like it's inevitable, you have to close the door and open it a million times when you're moving in. However, you can be courteous to your neighbors, especially when it is nearly nine o'clock, um, just by closing the door yourself. I mean, Cole and I probably slam the door like on occasion, but not nearly as much let's see if they do it there we go i have been contemplating leaving a note on their door but i noticed that they had left for a minute to go get more stuff to move in and i noticed my neighbor next to me on this side he was outside looking for them to talk to them so i'm assuming he's probably going to say something to them within the next hour because they're being very very disruptive and i think he's a single guy like every time i see him he's never with a woman or a man so i think he lives by himself 
I've just never seen anyone else there. So um, yeah, I just don't foresee that he would be very accepting of that. I noticed that he was in like shorts, like his pajamas basically, like loungewear, and he didn't have shoes on. So he clearly was bothered. See what I mean? So I'm not trying to complain right now. I'm just showing you guys my life because this is the life that everyone goes through when they live in an apartment. And obviously I know that when you own a house that there are issues with owning a house as well, but apartments are just hard to care for other people's noise. So anyway, I just wanted to document that. I have a full folder on my phone of images and videos of issues that I've had with this apartment. I will not be renewing this lease when it is up in September. Hopefully the goal is to move into a house or something of that sort. So I'm trying to save, but I don't know much about owning a house. So I need to start educating myself on that. But anyway, I'm just drinking a glass of wine and editing this video. So hopefully it will be up for you guys tomorrow. So you're viewing this on Monday if you're watching it the day it goes live. So cheers to crappy neighbors.